Here's our second to last part of our project using epoxy. Two part epoxy, tabletop epoxy to be exact. Um, here's a tabletop epoxy and here's our epoxy hardener. And I'm gonna put two cups each into these containers. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put enough in the background of the project so it kind of acts as if it's the surface now we do have our own surface and our own mold but there's nothing really sticking to it so this will probably be a light dark background depending on what i want but i really want it to be pur purple um so i'll mix this you will mix it for at least two to three minutes i like to go seven minutes uh, don't ask me why so I got three colors here one is gray the other is purple other is white and they all have fabric sparkles in it so glitter is in these so it gives a kind of a reflection effect so like I said it's just the background so I'm spreading it all over then I'll put the half moon that we just put in there top it off with clear coat Put the rest of the all the other stuff in there uh, move the stuff around and then i'll wait 24 hours to come back to it 24 hours has passed thanks for your patience and here we go again everything is hard and now we're going to use more epoxy so this will be four cups each creating eight cups that in there I want to make sure that I got everything in there because I want the hardener to start curing as soon as we can I'm going to use this stain powder for a more dark effect I think it will come out a little brown but I think we'll be fine um, there's six here but there's a reason for that I want to match these colors as much as I can um, but then I don't and you'll see what I'm trying to do here. So what I'll do here is I will we'll mix these together and then I will try to call what is called the ripple effect or the funnel effect. I'll put a hole in the bottom and all those colors will come out all at the same time and drop creating circles. Um, now I could have used very very separate colors on here but I didn't um, and it came out a little more brown than it could but I still like the ripple effect and how it comes out and as you guys can see the colors are coming out way different than expected and the glitter is shining so I'll take everything that's extra and I'll throw it all over the place because we're trying to look at kind of a place in space uh, but not um, kind of like a nebula type of area and also the I took so long that the epoxy started curing itself so some of this ended up having surface um, and so now I'm gonna put clear epoxy over it so it kind of almost looks like there's a 3d effect which I didn't expect it I'm heating it up and I'll put it away <laughs> 